Hi guys, so I've literally shuffled the cards. We're doing a tarot card reading today and see what the messages are for the next week ahead. I'll probably do a couple and do daily reads, but this one I thought I'd do the weekend and see what comes out. So what's come out is the lovers. Now, what I've picked up on here and what's coming through to me now is the fact that somebody is thinking of starting something new with somebody. You're thinking of starting a new relationship, but you're not sure which way to go. But they're saying go with it. Don't let your past ruin your now, living in the now. I'm not going to say the future because the future isn't here. We need to live in the now. So don't let the past ruin. Uh, go with your gut, go with your intuition and see what you feel, see what comes through. See if it feels right. Use that inner sense, not your mind, your eyes, your ears, use your inner sense. And think to yourself, right, what does this feel like? And when you feel it from within, that's a true reflection on what you should do next. So let's see what else comes out. So the Hierophant. So basically you are actually seeking some help from either a mentor or you're seeking help from somebody who um, knows a lot more about it than you do. So maybe you're seeking help from a friend that's very good on relationships, very good at using their own intuition. So that's the right thing to do. But like I say, call on the angels as well. But this is a hope card so as well. So this normally says, um, make a wish. So make a wish. So yeah, this is a hope card. This is um, guidance. You're seeking guidance on the situation. So obviously it's to do with your love life. You're seeking guidance on it. I'm seeing what comes through now because my hands are really, really tingling. Okay, this person that you're thinking of isn't like any other person that you would go out with previously or you have done in the past. This person's completely different and this is where the stumbling blocks are. This is why you're wondering, is this person going to be right for me? Am I going to be right for them? They're, they're saying go with it. It's all to do with divine timing and the timing is right for you now. Trust your intuition, go with your gut feeling, call upon the angels and ask them for, in the universe, ask them for help, ask them for guidance, ask, believe, receive. Trust in the process. This wouldn't have come through to you if it wasn't the right thing for you to do. You've gone through a lot of hurt in the past, which is why you're putting the brakes on, which I completely understand. But go with it. They wouldn't... Um, bring that person into your life right now if it wasn't going to be the right person for you. Yeah, charge on with it, the Knight of Cups, and it's to do with feelings as well. So once you actually start to go within and you start listening to yourself and maybe ask for some guidance, you'll notice that you'll start to feel uh, what you need to do. But with the Knight of Cups, it's saying charge on with it. Your emotions are strong. You should go with your emotions. You're feeling like you've been... There's loads of things on offer and you really don't know what to do here um, with Seven of Cups. Your feelings are all over the place, basically. So let's get your feelings back into one place because we know that life can be very fluid and we're all over the place and then our mind gets involved and then doubt comes into play and that can make a big difference as well because just go with your feeling, I'm being told here. Try not to think too much about it try not to procrastinate too much about it go with your feeling what do you feel is right and then you're going to be sitting happy you're going to be sitting comfortable and you're going to have the power within to know that it's the right decision but it's saying here you've got everything you've got everything that you need to go forward and look at that oh my god amazing so happy home life happy everything this is definitely a positive positive reading so let's quickly reiterate the lover's card go for it the same you're asking for more help more guidance on this but i don't think you need to uh, you've made your wish something you've already manifested this already so this is something that's come through you've already asked for this um and you're in control you're in control of your emotions don't let your mind wonder have truth within yourself um, have faith within yourself. That's what I've just had come through. Have faith in yourself and know 
that you're being guided, you're being guided along the right path here um, and stay strong because seriously, your mind's been going all over the place, you don't know where you are, your feelings have then been taken a bit of a um, an entanglement, you're not sure where to go, but deep down you do. And deep down, just because it's something different, then know that it's the right thing for you. And that is an amazing card to finish off with, I think. I think you should definitely, definitely go with your intuition, go with your gut here. You'll know if it's the right decision in your gut because you'll have nice feelings in your stomach. Uh, but this is an amazing card to finish up with. So I hope this reading has really resonated with you. And if you've been in a bit of a dilemma and you've not known which way to go, I'm hoping this has directed you because, oh my goodness, I'm getting the feeling now this is something that you're going to experience that you've never experienced anymore. You're, I'm getting too good to be true. It's not. You deserve this. You deserve every happiness because I know I'm getting the feeling that you've been there for other people and you've helped other people through the same sort of situation and you've been there and this is your time now. This is your time for you to get the love that you deserve. So have an amazing day in lots of love from me, the universe, the angels, an amazing tarot reading. So I hope this has helped today. I hope this resonates. Take care. Bye.